Telecom journey has begun showing decreased signs of activity compared to last week when there were reports of increased activities. GBN on Monday reached out to Seismic Research Center at the University of the West Indies, Trinidad, and spoke with seismologist Dr. Joan Latchman. Dr. Latchman says intense elevation inactivities began on June 6th, where a number of low-magnitude earthquakes were recorded at Kikam Jenny. However, she wants people to know there is no need to worry at this time. It should be noted that Kikam Jenny in the past has erupted without precursory low-magnitude events. And that possibility with the Kikam Jenny is always there. So we may not see another intense elevation and there could still be an eruption at the Kikam Jenny. Mm -hmm. But it should be noted that at this time, for any normal activity that we have had at the Kikam Jenny, it does not really pose a threat to, to residents. Oh. Residents may feel, if, may feel the eruption if it does occur in northern Grenada, but as it, it is considered too far below the surface of the sea to be a major concern at this time. 1.5 kilometer exclusion zone still remains, as Dr. Lashman explains. Even when Kikam Jenny is not active, it still poses potential danger. Even when Kikam Jenny is not in a state of unrest. Volcanoes, both terrestrial and submarine volcanoes, would manifest a phenomenon described as degassing. So you have gases coming off the various features within the system. The, in a terrestrial setting, that is something that wouldn't generally uh, cause much concern unless it becomes very vigorous. But in a submarine setting, you can have these bubbles giving rise to a reduction in the buoyancy of the water around the Kikam Jani. Mm -hmm. And you will remember from your physics general science days where you need to be able to displace your own weight in water to float. Mm -hmm. And if the buoyancy is significantly reduced, you, it can happen that ships in that area can sink. The seismologists gave the assurance that information is relayed in a timely manner to the local disaster coordinator as soon as an upsurge is realized. So the, the stations, the seismic stations that we have there have been installed and they send their signals to us in, in real time. So we are seeing the signals, and if anything goes down, if we no longer see the signals, then we will contact the relevant people there to have a check on it. We are limited at this time because our borders are closed, and if, if a trip is required, that can't happen at this time. So that does put us, put us at a little disadvantage when it comes to restoring a station that may not be a simple check by the the facilitators that we have there. But currently we do have stations working and we can see the signal. Kikam Jenny is an undersea volcano located 8 kilometers north of the island. It reaches a depth of approximately 180 meters. The volcano has erupted 12 times since 1939. Christina John, GBN News.